Hey folks, welcome to the channel and welcome to Workbench Wednesdays. Today we are going to be measuring with lasers. So welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Dad channel and welcome to Workbench Wednesday, where on Wednesdays we take a look at different tools, garage and shop gizmos, and we give you an honest opinion of them. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're junk. Either way, we're going to let you know. Now today we are checking out this thing. Um, this is a measuring device from Ink Irma, but it is a lot more than just measure, which is kind of cool. My last laser measuring tape, which I lost because that's what I do with measuring tapes, it measured distance. You could point it, hit a button, and it would tell you far, far away that was, which was really, really useful if you're playing that game where you're trying to get the measuring tape across a thing and try not to drop it. This does a lot more than that. So we're going to show you all the features, and then I'm going to show you how it works, and then I'll give you an honest breakdown of what I really think of this little gizmo. So now we're going to come down to my very messy workbench to kind of run you through all the things this thing can do. Because like I mentioned, it is not just a measuring tape. It can do a lot of math for you as well. So the very first setting I have this thing in, you can pop in here, and this gives you all the options. So right now, we're going to be just measuring a straight line. So we're going to hit the select button right there. And right now, the way I have it set up, because there is a laser on the bottom and on the top here, I have it set to measure a straight line from this point forward. Now what's neat is if you hold this button down, you can change it. So now it's going to calculate the measurement from the front forward. You can hit it again. And now it's going to go in both directions. So now I have the laser, if you can see here on the bottom and on the top, pointing out both directions. Now I don't know if you can see because it's doing the menu. It's this little feature right up here. That's what's changing. So right now we're just going to take a measurement from the back forward, we're going to point the laser at the back of my workbench and hit that measure button. Two beeps mean it's got, means it's got a number and we have 1.722 feet. Now, like I said, it can also do math here. So if we wanted to take two measurements and add them together, we can go hit the plus sign right here, take another measurement. And now it's going to store both of those measurements on the screen, 1.722, 1.758, and give us a total right there. Now, if we needed to subtract something out, we can hit the subtract button, point our laser, take a measurement, and now it's subtracting that 1.73 or 1.748 off, and we have a new measurement. So you can rely on this thing to take measurements for you and actually do the calculations in here while you're doing it. So that can be a huge help on a job site. So that's showing how this thing can work as a measuring tape and also a calculator, but that's not the only thing it can do. So now let's jump over into this, the square. So that's measuring square footage or square meters. So we're going to select that one. And now in this mode, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to select how you want it to measure. So what's really handy with this is if you're in a big room, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So this is where the two lasers come in handy. With a traditional even laser measuring tape where you only have it coming off one side, you'd have to get all the way up against one wall. And that's not always possible. You might have a drop off furniture in the way or something like that. So when you're calculating square footage, you can get anywhere in the room as long as you have a direct line of sight to your walls. I've got the laser coming out both sides. So we're gonna go right across this way and uh, fire it off right there. And I have 21.794 feet, which is accurate. Um, this is actually 22 foot, but I have some stuff on the walls. It's coming out a little bit. So that should be pretty dead on. And then we're going to go this way, going to go right over the uh, camera. And I'm going to try to get as close to the wall on that side as I can. And that came up with the 19.93 feet. And I have the pegboard, which is popping off the wall there too. So I have a square footage of 435.74 feet right there on that screen. So it'll do all that kind of cool math. For you. So now we've got a calculation for square feet, but let's say you want to calculate cubic feet. It does that too. So if you go back into the menu here and you choose the little cube, now you're calculating cubic feet. We're going to do the exact same way. We're just going to take every measurement again. So we're going to go back across here, get our across the garage measurement. We're going to come across this way, go right over the camera again. And one thing to be aware of, I'm not being super careful about hitting the TV, which is going to give you a slightly different reading. But then we got to get the vertical measurement of the room. So we're going to do the same thing standing right here in the middle, fire off that vertical measurement. And we have 5,782.8 cubic feet. And of course, like I mentioned before, you can go metric with this if you have to. But that's a big help if you're doing things like uh, air handling, HVAC stuff, and things like that. It's very easy to calculate square footage. 
it's easy in a garage this big, but when you get into a huge room, that can be really difficult and that thing can take care of it. Now, the one thing to be aware of is in here, this number is not really accurate. You're gonna have to do a little bit of guesswork and that's because I have a vaulted ceiling in here. It's calculating cubic feet, taking measurement, 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 and not taking into account that I have a vaulted ceiling. So that is something to be aware of when you're using this, you might have to do a little bit of subtraction if you've got things like that going on in your space. So here's where I got really impressed with this thing and I had to remember what this even meant. Uh, it can measure and make calculations using the Pythagorean method. And what that is, is if I go into this little menu option here, it can actually calculate distances based on angle. So this thing actually has an accelerometer and a level. So if we're gonna do that, what I can do here is let's set this thing up correctly. I can take a measurement going straight out and then take another measurement going up. And what this thing does, check this out. This is a, this blows me away. It'll, it'll calculate out using the distance from you to the bottom target, the top target and the degree change. And it'll calculate the distance, which I just did 7.036 feet, which is very, very precise. And I've played around with this to see how precise it is. And it is dead on. So what that means is if you're looking at a distance and you need to figure out how tall something is, how tall a wall is inside a house, how tall something is further away and you can't get a vertical, you know, a measuring tape on it. You can literally point the laser at the bottom of it, hit a button, point the laser at the top of it, hit the button again, and it'll immediately do the math and figure out how tall that distance is. And it can do it a couple different ways. If we jump back into the menu there, it can do it off of two points or three points. So you can actually do a lot of measuring and math with this thing that you couldn't do with a measuring tape. Now, in addition to being able to use the two lasers on here to calculate distance and then also using the level or really the accelerometer inside it to be able to calculate a height or distance at a distance away, it has another little trick up its sleeve. Now, if we come in here, we get really close. You can see it also tells you a degree of angle. So if we flip it on its side here and then hit this button, you can rotate the screen and now it gives you how level or off level it is. You can see as I turn it, that degree changes. So this can also be used as a level or also as a protractor, you can set it on something and actually calculate the exact degree of angle that it is. With that, you can also add and subtract angles so you can calculate, you know, if you have a downward and an upward, you can calculate that difference if you're doing things like cutting trim. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I always go over the pros and cons of everything we have on the channel because even if I really like something, there's always some cons. So to go over the pros first, this thing is small. It's small enough you can throw it into a pocket. Form factor wise, it's really no bigger than a measuring tape. If anything, it's a little skinnier than an average measuring tape. So throwing it in your pocket will be really easy. Another thing I've got over here on the workbench, it does come with, but I don't think I'm ever really gonna use it, a little pouch, you can put it on your belt. Realistically, I don't think I'm ever gonna use the pouch. I'm just gonna throw this in a pocket and throw it back on my workbench. Now it does have a pretty rugged design. You know, it's got rubber. However, talking about cons, it has a screen. And as we all know, if you've got phones, screens are easily scratched. And this screen, if you look at it, is flush with it. So throwing it in your pocket with a set of keys, you run the risk of scratching up that screen. How much that really matters on a tool, I don't know. That's for you to decide. Um, I think I may, I got a bunch of extra screen protector material. I'll probably stick it on it just to be safe. The screen is not a touch screen, which would be nice, but that would also make the screen a little bit more fragile. So that could be a pro or a con depending upon what you're using it for. Now, as far as ease of use, it is very, very easy to use. Point it, click it, it calculates a distance. If you realize the distance is wrong, there's a little delete function and you can reshoot that distance if you're measuring multiple distances. So ease of use, this thing is super duper easy to use. Um, some of the buttons have double functions and you do, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but after playing around with this thing for five or 10 minutes, it 
pretty much becomes intuitive, so it's not so bad. You just heard it beep. It does have an auto off feature, so if you're using it and you throw it on the workbench or throw it on a job site and you forget to turn it off, it won't kill its battery. It'll just shut itself down. That brings me to my next point. Um, this could be a pro or a con, just depending upon how you feel about it. It does not have replaceable batteries on the back of it. So some of my other ones, you pop it open, it takes double A's. This one does not have replaceable batteries. It does have a charging port right here on the side. And pop that sucker open. So the charging port, if you see it right here, it is covered with a little rubber piece and it takes a little screwdriver to pop it open. So it is sealed really well and it is USB type C. So it is a rechargeable battery and it is using the new USB type C. So that could be a pro or a con just depending upon how you look at it. It is nice that it's rechargeable, but if you're on a site somewhere and the battery dies, you're gonna have to charge it back up. It does have a meter right on the screen though that does show you your battery level. So if you've got a USB cable in your truck, you can just charge it up on the job site. It's not that big of a deal. Now the last Procon is really up to you and how you value this thing. This thing is obviously more expensive than the cheap measuring tapes that they give away for free at Harbor Freight every so often. It comes in at about $70 and I will have a link for this thing down in the description below if you want to check it out because sometimes it does go on sale and I've seen it lower about 50. Now that does sound like a lot of money for a measuring tape, but this isn't a measuring tape. It does a lot more than that uh, because it can do large distances longer than you can get with a measuring tape. It can calculate distances that you couldn't get a measuring tape out to. It can do the square footage, cubic feet, angles, operate as a level. So it can do a lot of stuff and it can do all the calculations for you that otherwise you'd be having to do either on your phone or on a calculator or on a notepad. So on a job site where you're having to do a lot of calculations, this could save you a lot of time and possibly costly mistakes, which cause material. So this might well be worth it for you if you need it. Now, if this video did help you out at all, if you found this tool interesting or you wanna hear about all the other tools we have here, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you wanna see on the channel. Let me know if you have any questions about this and also hit that subscribe button because we've got Workbench Wednesdays, Tech Tuesdays, and How To's coming out on a lot of the weekends. We've got a lot of cool content coming your way. Now, if you like the video, please give it a great big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and of course, thank you for watching.